We had another Alexa Bliss segment. She's back at the psychiatrist's office. This guy's giving her another uh, session, even though she destroyed the place last week. And uh, he says, I'm going to play a word association game. What do you think when you hear the word trust? And she says, Lily. And he says, friendship. And she says, Lily. So he rattles off all these words, and finally he goes, imaginary. And Alexa gets mad. So the guy gets the hell out of there, but then she calms herself down. That's the end of the segment. Yep, it wasn't as bad as last week, but... uh... God. So is she actually going to get all of the uh, uh, Alexa Bliss character like worked out of her during these psychiatry sessions and come back as an actual wrestler? Is that possible? I, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what they're going to do. I don't think so. I think that I think she's still going to do the schoolgirl thing. Great. Main event was Lashley and Rollins, and they had 13 minutes, and it's pretty good. Uh, there was a long segment in the middle where Seth was just kind of working over his leg, and we had a commercial break, so I feel like this match could have been like 50 times better. And then... Uh, There's something wrong with uh, The working on the leg made sense. I actually liked it. it was, they did good working on the leg. And, um, you know, when you're going to Lashley and you're going to have an advantage, it, that makes all the sense in the world to do that. So I didn't have a problem with that at all. I mean, the finish sucked, but, I mean, the match itself, you know, there was nothing wrong with the match. Well, yeah, they're working over the guy's leg, and they're talking about his leg may be destroyed, and this match with Lesnar might not happen. <laughs> what? Well, well, I don't think that anyone really expects that. So, yes, the... Uh... But, I mean, the thing is, is so they have these guys, and they can't afford to beat either of them, so they just do a run-in. Like, of all the people to do a run-in, it's Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. Yeah, Lashley like... fired him last week. They're mad. But, Jesus Christ, like... Talk about a cheap way out. You know, we can't do a finish, so we're going to bring out Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander, like who have been like nothing, nothing, nothing for, you know, whatever. Well, he beat him up and laid him out, and then uh, the Usos hit the ring and gave uh, Rollins a double super kick, laid him out, and uh, that was the end of the show. Very lackluster edition. By the way, i got a pet peeve here. i got, I got to say one thing really quick on, on, the, on the Usos thing because it made no sense. So they run in. Okay, so their job is supposed to be to soften Seth Rollins up, right? They give him the super kick. He's down. They should have beat the hell out of him. Then they just walk out of the ring. Yep. What was the point? The point like, was to get him on the show. One, yes. one double super kick. They do that in every match. They do multiple double super kicks. And the guys are always better the next week. I mean, shouldn't the idea be that they're trying to give their guy the big advantage? I mean, it was like they just flew to Tulsa with no fans for no reason to do one. I don't know. I just thought, like, I mean. This has been like, a very lackluster build to this Roman Reigns-Seth Rollins match. I thought the segment they did on Friday was all right. I When I finally saw it, I thought it was all right. Uh, but, it wasn't in but it. you know, um, I wouldn't say lackluster, but. This tonight, I didn't get it. It's just like it just made no sense to me. Well, I would say it was rather lackluster tonight. Yeah. And then the, uh, I mean, the video build for Lesnar and Lashley was good, but that freaking end of the show, you know, with uh, Cedric and Shelton, you know, it's like, at least they could have done is like had some like, you know, like a, a top guy, you know, go in there who could, you know, wrestle and do a program with Lashley. Although I suppose Lashley's probably going to do a handicap match with those two guys and destroy him again. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.